So I'm going to show you how you can come up with an inline write social shares. into your blogs and we will be using monarch plugin however this is not available by default in monarch plugin um, but i'm going to show you how you can customize it for you to look like this okay so the mandatory is of course you need to have a monarch plugin which is available in elegant themes um, if you have a license in elegant themes you can access all of their WordPress themes and all of their plugins, including the Monarch. If you haven't have a license yet, you can use my link below to get a discount. So anyway, um, just simply go to the plugin section and click the add new and then download that Monarch plugin into the elegant themes. And you can um, see that when you have I mean, you can download straightly the zip file once you have the license of, of your of elegant yeah. themes. So activate that Monarch plugin and then go into the settings section. So under the settings section, we'll choose inline. However, there's a lot of styles that you can use for your social shares. There is a sidebar, inline, pop-up, fly-in, and media. But the 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 goal of this video is you want to come up something like this okay and this is super common for a tech website they normally put um, social shares icon on the right side with um, like a bio of the writer okay so once you're ready check that part there so make sure that the inline one is checked and um, yeah of course save changes and then go into the inline style so on the inline style you um, you can choose whatever design you prefer I love choosing this style and then for the social shape I want to I love to use the um, the circle one but you can also come up with a rectangle version with a border radius or just a solid um, square but yeah I like the circle one and then I wanted to put above the um, blog post and with an alignment to this is only the options for now in monarch um, you can only choose left and we can only choose right and then how many columns I set it to six um, if you want to share to see the social shares you can also do that but yeah I'm just provide see letting you know what is the setup that i did in here so these are the setups that i did for display settings and this is the color um that i put in but you can always change that to help whatever color preference you want like i can even use a gray one and then i wanted that to be um just a post type okay so by default again I, i've put a custom css and this one so i'm going to show you how what is exactly the um original styling of this um this monarch social share plugin if you did not put the css now we'll jump into the general section in here and this is the css code that i um, put um to have this kind of result so i'm going to remove this one here save changes and then we'll refresh this website and if you notice this is like how this is how the setup looks like if you follow this um social shares let me just go back to the inline style so if you follow these settings that i put in in here this is the like the setup that you will see however like if your goal is you want it to have a um, side by side options to consume this space in here like in normal tech or even the new um, web new websites that that is like new famous website right now I normally see um, like a author like a writer short bio and then the social shares in here so if you want that kind of styles versus in this one then you need you can use a custom CSS so we'll go back to the general section and we will paste this CSS code in here so if I save that and 
and I refreshed, then um, this is where my um, social shares looks like. Okay, and yeah, the like the design that I did for the blog post, if you're using DV, again, um, this kind of styles in here is specifically on the DV module. So this is the um, settings that I came up with. But again, Monarch plugin can be used in other themes. It's not just designed for DV, but also on other WordPress themes. But yeah, the, the tutorial, the examples that I'm showing you are created in DV. So this is the template that I did it for all the blog posts. It's super simple. I created a, this one is a text thing. And then I um, called the post title. And then I also come up with a full width blurb with my name and my image. And then another um, section for the post content. And yeah. Um, that's how I did it. And let me just explain to you how this thing in here. So I only targeted the, um, this top version because I don't want this to look like, I want to just make super clean in mobile version. So in mobile version, they are similar. So it, it so in mobile version, it revert back to the original design. So yeah, so I only targeted the this up version and then I set something a width of 200 pixel and a display of inline block with this um, kind of absolute position. And then I also targeted the max width part. Um, I set some important thing in here, though important is not really recommended in, in CSS, but if they already pro provided a superiority on into the code, then it unfortunately you really need to force to write a important. So that's how I created that. And then I have an article version in this in case you want to um, get the CSS code. I'm going to paste it on the article version and yeah, we'll provide more information as well. So hope that helps if you have any question please don't forget to comment down below and hit the subscribe um, if you're liking this video. And yeah, have a great day.